morning, everybody. Uh, greetings from Keystone, South Dakota. Yesterday, guys, was National Road Trip Day. We took a road trip. <laughs> we took a really, really big road trip from Springfield, Missouri to Keystone, South Dakota. We're up here to uh, see the Mount Rushmore National Monument uh, for the Memorial Day weekend. This is um, my wife's and I kind of pre-anniversary trip. Uh, the trip was long, but uh, really easy. A lot of uh, straight highways, um, 80 mile an hour uh, speed limits, so it wasn't too bad. Um, with everybody, with pit stops and everything, it took us around 13, 14 hours, give or take a little bit, from Springfield. Um, we stopped in uh, Mitchell, South Dakota, and uh, in Mitchell, South Dakota, it's a small town, but it has uh, the Corn Palace, and it uh, is really ornate outside, decorated out of corn and um, natural uh, wheat and grasses, and it, they make murals out of corn. Uh, the auditorium in the Corn Palace, uh, it's, it's really amazing with the designs they came up with. And uh, it was just one of the sights to see along the way. Uh, later on this afternoon, we're going to uh, Mount Rushmore uh, National Park, and uh, very excited about that for the Memorial Day weekend. Um, it's just been a fantastic trip so far, and we're also going to uh, hit the Crazy Horse, Chief uh, Crazy Horse, uh, monument a little bit later also today. So guys, come along with us. Hey guys, this is outside uh, the Quality Inn that we're staying. Um, we're here in Keystone, South Dakota. It's a little bit cloudy, a little bit overcast today. They're calling for some rain this afternoon, but uh, we're gonna avoid all that and hit the Mount Rushmore uh, National Memorial here in a little while. But uh, here we are. This is uh, downtown Keystone right here. They have a little strip. It's kind of, um, kind of sort of like Branson in a way, but uh, I think it's Tennessee. this is the same as the sign for Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, very similar to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. It's just kind of a little tourist nook, and uh, getting ready to head out on our adventure today. excited about this trip. Yes. How does it feel? It's so good. It's so kind of amazing though. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. Okay. How did you first hear about Mount Rushmore? Oh, they are just different. Great, but they are so good. Different experience. Oh my god, this is so good. That's a so unique. Hey, we're saying goodbye to uh, Mount Rushmore. Um, this has been an amazing morning, amazing afternoon. Um, this is a uh, just a super, super iconic site, historical site. Um, 
the sculptor said that uh, whenever he uh, did these portraits, he, he got in touch um, intimately with, with all the four presidents. And um, some of the mechanics that went through this uh, remarkable feat, remarkable accomplishment, 90% of the rock for this statue was uh, uh, moved by dynamite. The faces. Um, they were powered by um, water from near uh, Black Hills, and uh, the sculptor used uh, uh, high powered jackhammers to complete the details of uh, all the presidents. Anyway, this has been just a, a remarkable trip, a remarkable time, and a Memorial Day that will never be forgotten. Have a good day, guys. Be blessed. Also known as the Changu Lakota of the Ocheti Shankowi. How many of you are going to remember that today? That's a long name, right? Yes, there's lots of different terms, lots of different names that I can call my people. Now what I'd like to share with you is if you come across an indigenous persons, the best thing to do is just to ask. Everybody has their own word of preference. How many of you guys have heard this term Sue before? Raise your hands. It's a very popular term, but not everybody knows that this term Sioux is actually incorrect. We did not traditionally call ourselves by this name. We were given this name by someone else, and it may mean enemy or snake. There are some people who have embraced this term, which is okay for them to do, while on the other side of it, there are people who do not like this term. 
So it really depends on who you talk to. That's why these conversations are so important. That's why asking questions is so important. If I was asked that question, the word I would give them is Lakota. It's easy to say, easy to remember, it's the name of our language that my tribe speaks, and we're assuming mean enemy or snake. Lakota, Dakota, Nakota means the friendly ones. And I want to be known as a friendly one. So can I have you all please say Lakota? All right. Now I am actually living in Rapid City, South Dakota right now. I grew up in Rapid City as well as the Pioneer Reservation. So I am a local. I am from this area, the Paasapa, of the Black Hills. It's where I call home. I did thank each and every single one of you. And I did greet you all as my relatives. I said, Mitaku yapi oyase all my relatives. Who here is my relative? Do I have some relatives out here in the audience? Yeah, some of us know, right? We know. Now, most Lakota people, we believe that everybody is our relative. What that means is that we're going to treat each other with kindness. Top of the morning, everybody. Um, Sunday morning, coming down. Um, we're going to head, head out and hit the road here for a long road trip back. Um, we did the um, Custer State Park yesterday. Uh, went uh, kind of in the near Needle's Eye location. Um, it was just fantastic fantastic scenery uh, if you come here to Keystone um, it's really a can't miss uh, the scenery is just absolutely beautiful um, it will blow you away um, we came here um, over a Memorial Day weekend simply had a blast it's a long trip but uh, well worth it guys see you next time stay blessed